Greetings, fellow crafters. Tis I, your Hella Queen. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. And if you are new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. I upload several times a week. But right now, I have a post review to do. Stick around and we'll take a look. Okay, so this was my entry into the Giddy Up Challenge, which Jeremy's been running. I will have that link down below, as well as the hashtag, but take a look at how sparkly that is. I don't even think the camera's doing any great justice here. So it is a partial, which means things like the muscle musculature in the nose of the of that, some of the bone work here and the moon and that are not drilled. You just drill on the areas that have sticky. It is still sticky in places, so I will be sealing it. Although I will probably do that off screen because that's not terribly exciting. But it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Especially with these black 8Es. Which I don't even know if I'd call them 8Es because they are so ridiculously rainbowy. Like, I, I don't know. I have considered putting them in as 310 ABs, but I think they might be something even more sparkly because they are really gorgeous. I love them. But it is now finished. I had set this up in eight parts and put it into the decision maker app that I've been using called Tiny Decisions and just worked through it whenever this particular painting came up. I'm not sure when this one ends. It is now the 13th of April. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is any, any kind of horse kind of craft. He's not being terribly specific, and it is only for the month of April. I may be wrong about that. Please comment if you know differently than that. I would appreciate the, the help. But for right now, we have some de-kitting to do. So this one I put into my 28 count containers. I only needed these three of them, so I'm going to pull those out for right now. I have cut some dry erase stickers. So that's all that's on here is dry erase stickers and I just used the one through seven numbers on here since otherwise I have to try and draw interesting stuff since this one didn't come with any kind of uh, any kind of brain that's not functioning. What is the word? Inventory sheet. That's it. So instead of trying to draw all of the various things which I didn't have so I did have a fair bit of trash. Most of that is just either little flecks of flashing that didn't come off or came off but what wasn't sorted through, or more likely it was a rhinestone that was that had scratches in the silvering underneath. Because that can happen fairly easily. And once you do that, especially with these clear rhinestones, you can see the symbol right through the rhinestone, so you can't really use them. There were several that I placed and then went, I can still see the symbol. I need to, and I had to pull them back up and replace, which is why they're not coming out of my trash drill section that easily. Okay. And this guy, this is a crystal skull vodka bottle that I've been using since I started in May of last year and it is getting really full. I actually went and got myself another one so that when that one fills up I can start a new one. And I just put trash drills or those weird orphan drills that you find on your table after you're done diamond painting for the day and go oh crap I'm not going back through all of my drills to find this. So We've seen this giant, this giant thing here, which holds all of my DMC drills. That's not where these are going to go. These go in a photo box. I have links in the description to Four Kids at 147's storage containers that she uses, so you can get an idea of how this thing works. But basically, the way it works is you have a card, and then behind it you have baggies that apply to that card. In this case, I have yellow here, which is diamond dots. They had to be extra and have their own system of numbering, unlike the DMC system, almost all other painters, all other painting companies use. And then I have th 
these, which are special drills. And these I just have broken down into color. So let's pull out the first one here. So the first one I have is silver. And that's what I use for drills that are silver or anything that has come out silver. So let me pull out. There's a lot of bags here. Yeah, so those are actually silver drills. They look black. They look kind of black, but that's actually the flat side. So when you're putting these on your, on your canvas, it's the silver side you're seeing. So that's why they're in there. And then gray rhinestones and then clear rhinestones. Now I have these listed as three millimeter in here because I don't have calipers to go down into tenths of millimeters. Rounds are standard 2.8 millimeters, which these are. So I'm going to stick them in with the rest of the clear. That's probably the most common one that I run across is these clear rhinestones. These are also clear, but they've got almost like a grayish cast to them, so I've kept them separate. Those three can go back in. And then I can literally just wipe. This would work better if I had a microfiber cloth, but I can just wipe the number off and it's ready to go. Okay, that's black, so we're not doing that. These are silver. Those are silver. Those are pink. And those two are silver. So that one I'll set this side. So you have three to put away. So I don't have any four millimeter rounds. Don't have any teardrops. These are the crystal ladies. Don't have any of those clear rounds. No stars. So how big are these stars? Because I differentiate them both by size and by shape. So how big are these stars? They look bigger than those. I'd say they're about eight millimeters. So I don't have six millimeter stars. Six millimeter slivers, that might be these ones. Come on. Their slivers are seed shaped, which means they have points on both sides. How big are you? They look about the right size. Yeah, I'd say those are six. Silver and holographic, that covers those. So those will go in. Six millimeter clear holographic slivers. So now I have more of those. Then I have these. How big are these? Come back here. Those are, I would say, 10 millimeter. So, we'll close that. We'll wipe the four off. So now that one's ready to go. And so now we have eight millimeter teardrop, eight millimeter silver, sliver, eight millimeter round, Millimeter clear and 10 millimeter teardrop. Okay, so now I need new bags. So, where have I kept my bags? They're over here now. I'm so prepared for this, clearly. Okay, so we have bags. And we have those. And I should have stickers around here somewhere. Hey, here they are. Okay. So I have eight millimeter stars. Clear stars. And 10 millimeter 
clear feed. Okay. And let that dry a touch. Pull a piece of, oops, upside down. I keep these little pieces of card. I know four kids at four, 147 uses thicker paper, but I haven't been able to go into a shop and look for something that specific, so I just use white card. You don't have to color code your types. I mean, for me, I have DMC in blue, diamond dots in yellow, and special shapes in pink because the card stock that I had at the time we were in the middle of the pandemic was pink, yellow, and blue from a pastels pack. So I used what I had. Eight millimeter clear starts. So I'm going to grab the rest of the eight millimeter ones, clear stars, slivers, eight millimeter round, eight millimeter round. And I have clear teardrops. And now I'm going to have some clear slivers. And I just have two more to put away. So I will have this painting, if you're interested in it, or ones like it, linked in the description below. I can't remember if this was FG Normal or Craft Savings. Honestly, do not remember. I got them both at the same time. I had some technical issues, so I couldn't get them posted. But I will have it linked in the description below. I've not had any problem with either company. Okay, so those are done. And I have those two drops sitting for the way. All right, so that's all of mine. So yes, I put these away in order of size. I have considered, because this leads to a lot of bags, just putting all of one shape in a bag and then just teasing out what size I need when I get there. But eh, I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, it is a lot of bags, but I'm not exactly hurting for space in this box. So, okay, so round pearls, that's unfaceted 80s. I'm now in the white section. Large four millimeter white round, large four millimeter white pearls, large five millimeter white pearls. Six millimeter googly eye, I forgot about that. And seven millimeter teardrop. So I don't have anything that resembles these white pinwheels. I know I've had pinwheels or starbursts from other in other colors, but I apparently don't have any in white. So pinwheel. And how big are you? So I'm just putting them on. That's five millimeters. Okay. So we get out of the bag. And these are just effectively to help the bag stand up so they don't all kind of slump down and get stuck in the bottom. Seven millimeter teardrops, six millimeter googly eye. So we'll put them in with the five millimeters. Oh, I didn't put labels on it. Whoops. Let's put the label on it. That might be an idea. Pay no attention to the water tower heating up the water. We don't need water towers here, but the last place we lived in, the water had a serious sulfur content. So we got used to having them and they're really, really stinking convenient to have. So we kept it even though we moved and we don't really need it anymore. Okay, so I have these pink ones and then I have black. So let's see what 
color comes up orange, purple, green, pink. Okay, I have a lot of pink. Pink shows up. I have two little girls, so a lot of the stuff I buy for them is pink. Those are extra small. I don't even have anything written on them. These, these pink ones are fairly large. How, how large are they? Come on. So end to end, I would say they're 10 millimeters. Yep. So they are 10 millimeter pink seed shape or sliver shape. So I'm just going to go through here. Five millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter, six millimeter, six millimeter. And then I have, I have a bag of 10 millimeter fastened pink slivers. So these can just be added directly to that. That's helpful. And then I have 10 millimeter pink bubbles, which don't apply to this. So that's all of those that are there. So all I have left is the black. I don't have much under black. I have black faceted rhinestones, large black four millimeters, and then I have these sparklers. And this is what I thought of when I saw these, but these feel way heavy. I think they're actually glass. No, they're not the same. I had thought possibly of just calling these black ABs, but I honestly don't know. What I've seen of black ABs, which is always on the screen, they look almost like green oil slick, kind of. They don't quite look like this. So I think for now, I'm just going to keep these as black three millimeter ABs in this box. And if I happen to get some black ABs in a painting and some 310 ABs in a painting and they look like this, then they'll combine them together then. But they are so, so pretty. So, so pretty. So I'm going to call them three millimeter, which is what I call standard size drills in this here, because I'm not going into tenths of milliliters. Standard size is 2.8. Round. Black. AB. For lack of a better name for them, that's what I'm going to call them. Three millimeter round. Black AB. Those are rainbow sparklers. So those all go together. Don't have a lot in black, but I do have some. And that is everything. So a little bit of work with the dry erase, and that comes off. And those are now ready for another case. Put these back together. That can go away. So yeah, that's diamond dots and special drills go in there. The big box is just for things that has DMC colors. If I knew for sure those black ones were 310 AB, that the same kind as you would find. Oh, I kept the silver thing though. What am I doing? There we go. All of this can go away, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this. I may just stick it in with the Halloween ones and pull it out then, or I may frame it. I'll have to take a look, but that's going to be a question for another day. But for right now, it is finished. It is gorgeous. I am happy with it, and that's where I'm going to leave you. So keep it spooky, guys. Bye.